because that's what I'm saying. Them. Yeah. You guys have been lied to. <laughs> Let me show you something. Oh, no. No, <laughs> huh? no, no soccer film stuff. I'm late your face. I'm not even debating. He, just, he was talking to the other guy. Ah, okay. So he's waiting for him to come back. Ah, no problem. I just want to tell you what your argument was. What's your argument? Anyway. Okay, this is your hadith, yeah. right? So, basically, this is a the Sahih hadith from Termidi, right? So, because it's quite long, I've just taken the bit that I need. So it says, Musa said, and it says Yusha bin Nun. So Yusha bin Nun was Joshua. That's the Arabic name. Because Jesus had the same name. Jesus not Joshua. Je yeah, Jesus Yeshua. Not Joshua. Yes it is, Yeshua. That's how you've translated it. It's Jesus, isn't it? No. So let me let me explain yeah, to you, yeah, Sai. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let Joshua, me educate Yeshua, let me let me let me Jesus. educate you on language. Jo uh, Moses' um, partner or the leader of the Israelites, Joshua, his Hebrew name was Yeshua or Yehoshua. It's the long form. Okay, let me even show you with evidence. Show me Jesus' his name is Yeshua. Let, show me let, that name. Let me show you. Show me that in the Bible. Let me show you with evidence. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, Joshua. that's fine. That's fine. Let me. I need to give you, break it down. Well, I know already about Joshua. Joshua. We know that already. All right. It's Arabic. Okay. Joshua translates to Joshua. Yeah. All right. Cool. At least you know that. Now let me show but you something. Jesus. Doesn't Jesus doesn't now, yeah. this is NIV. This is the New Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah, says, yeah. after receiving the tabernacle, our ancestor under Joshua brought it with him. Joshua was the one who brought the tabernacle, right? And this is in Acts 7.5. So when we go to the King James, oh, you said he calls him you. Jesus. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't even have a brother. Oh, you need to watch my video. Have you watched it? No, I will. Which one? Soko Films. Wait, about, the name, about your name. You can listen in as well. So basically, I'm yeah, look, no. yeah, I'm, I'm just highlighting it. So again, I've shown him that Moses' companion was called um, Yehoshua. Oh yes, you are. Right. So we get, then, then we get to then we get to the Greek. But you need to show where he's saying that he's on. Why is it not translated? Yeah, that's what. Uh, translated that's what. That's what I'm going to show you. Translated to, what do you want to be translated look, to? Okay, look. Let me show you. What's sir? Arabic? Yeah, listen. Tell me if it was patient. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Know, like, listen. Let me break it down. I don't know. I don't know your argument. All right. I'll show you how we got Jesus. The Hebrew is Ye Yeshua, right? Yes, you are. Then we. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you can go to the Bible. Yeah, go to the Old Testament. Say that it's, name. It's, yeah, I'm going to show you. You're saying the um, Hebrew is Yeshua, but you know that the New Testament wasn't written in Hebrew. Okay. So where did you get the Hebrew from? Come right? round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you the evidence. That's, that's, that's a, that's a good Let me show you the evidence. That's a good question. Right, okay. <laughs> now we have Yeshua, which was the name means Yahweh is salvation. In the Greek, we don't have the same alphabet. There's no Shin, and there's obviously no Y. And there's no J, so they had to pronounce the name Jesus. This was transliterated into um, into Greek as Jesus from the Hebrew. Yeah, are you, are you with me? Because they don't have the same alphabet. Then in Latin, because I was always pronounced as an as a Y sound, so they would have said Jesus in Latin, Jesus. And then because when we eventually got the J sound, we get they just replaced that with that to say Jesus. Now let me show you from the Bible, because in Acts 7:45 it says, after receiving the tabernacle, our ancestors under Joshua brought it with them. That was only Joshua, Yeshua. But then when we go to King James, what did they put Jesus? Because the name Greek name was Jesus. Hold on, so go to the last one. It's the same passage. So it's a new two international version. Yeah. Right, okay. So cool. this is the international version. The King James just left his name as, Ye as Jesus. Because I've obviously just shown you how we got the, um, the Acts 7:45. So what? So the question would be, why did the, why did the new international um, version? Why did it translate it? As, because Yeshua is Jesus in Greek, which is Joshua in English. Joshua is Jesus in Greek. Yeah. Which trans? So, okay, let me make it simpler. Yeshua translates to G um, Joshua in English. Yeshua so you're saying translates Jesus is into Joshua. So Yeshua, Jesus, Joshua. So you're saying that Jesus, yes. his name is Joshua. Yes. Right. So then the, the, the question remains, 
why have we got this discrepancy? Why Joshua in some places and Jesus in others? All right, so now we go back to what I've shown you. Because we had the Hebrew Bible, then we had the Greek Bible, the, the New Hebrew Testament, Bible? the Torah was in Hebrew. Okay. Then so, we you, get the new so you have Joshua's name in the Hebrew text? Yeah, it was uh, right. Yahushua. It's in the long form. Then it gets shortened to Yeshua after the exile. They started using like um, moving away from Paleo Hebrew. So then in the Greek, we get Yesus. So therefore, the Bible from the Greek was translated into Latin. Then it was translated into English from the so King are you, are you, are you Are you definitely sure that it's 100. not Jesus as it shows? No, yes, it's a, the I E is a Yes. It's a yeah, yes. So it's been, yeah, it's pronounced as a Yes. Why? Um, I think I've got an explanation. Let me see. It might not be here. Okay, yeah. So it says, when his name was translated into Greek, it became Yesus. The IE represents the YE sound, and the S represents the Shin sound, and the OU represents the UA sound. But why then we say, why did they add the S on the end? It's basically because the Greek language has grammatical rules. And because it's saying Yahweh is salvation, because it's an object, it's like when we use like an apostrophe like S in English. So you have to add an S onto the end of the name. So that, that's why when we see the NIV, they just translate it as what it should be. Acts 7.45. But when we get the when we when we get the King James, when we get the King James, they just put it as Jesus. Because it's the same Greek. So now when we go to Islamic literature. Hey, what? What the? Do you read Arabic? I do read Arabic. But I was going to ask a question. So in, the new, in the Old Testament, yeah. right, we have Yeh 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 say Yeshua. Yeah. Yeshua. Yeah. Yeah. So that name means Yahweh is salvation. Right. But so that name, who is it used for in the, in the, in the Hebrew? Uh, is, that name, is that used for Joshua? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So Joshua is called Yahushua in, 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 in yeah, the Old Testament. Yeah, that's his Hebrew. Right. Okay. So he had the same name as Jesus. Fair enough. So now. Where is the reference to Joshua in the New Testament? That's the one I just showed you. Right. Why did King James translate the name Joshua in the, in the Old Testament to the name Jesus in the New Testament? Instead of Joshua. Instead of Joshua. Because they just went along with that, because it was pronounced uh, Jesus. So they, because when you transliterate a name, sometimes you just you can either translate a name or transliterate a name. For example, what? They're not convinced. Like, for example, if your name's like, let's say George Bush, in China they call him George Bush as well. Yeah. They might add a little consonant or whatever here. Yeah, about, they yeah. could. They might if they want to translate it or they transliterate it. To keep the pronunciation. So you can either translate something or transliterate it. Try to keep the sound. That's why when they say had Jesus, it's translate in Greek. They're trying to transliterate the sound to keep it the same. So it sounds the same as the Hebrew. So then we had the Latin Vulgate. And then we had the King James because it was so common that it was called Jesus. When the J came, they just translated. They didn't translate to his like the proper, they didn't translate it. They transliterated. It. So they kept the Fair sound. Enough. Okay. Uh, yeah. So they transliterated it from the from the Greek. Yeah, yeah, but to to Jesus. Yeah, in the, in the, yeah. Right. That's fair. That's fair enough. I don't. I don't have a problem with okay. the Greek to English uh, transliteration or translation. Okay. What I have an issue with is determining. Yeah. That Jesus' name was Yahushua okay. when there's no mention of Jesus yeah. right, in, in a Hebrew text. You have the, the Koine Greek text from my understanding of the New Testament. Yeah. So, where is it that we no, get, or was, where do we get, or how can we be sure yeah. that this transliteration or translation right. from Joshua to, just, but to Jesus is an accurate one? So when you say from Joshua to Jesus, so you from in Yahushua, the Greek? yeah, yeah, to to Jesus in, or Jesus in the New Testament. How do we get this? How can we be sure that they are the two? They are the same. Because you're saying Yahushua in, or Yeshua in the yeah. in the Hebrew yes. translates to uh, Jesus. Yes. And I'm saying, how can we be sure? Of this translation, especially yeah. when we talk but, about Hebrew names, and this is your okay, point, remember? You to, so, this is your point. To, Hebrew okay. names have meanings as well. Yeah. So how do we know now right. whether we're, we're supposed to translate or transliterate? So, so and just, it's, whether it's names or actually meanings. Yeah. So, so how I, do we know it's not supposed to actually be God saves instead so, of 
So Joshua. If, I, if I just give it to you from the Strong's Concordance, would that be good enough over there? Um, that's, I, don't, I don't know what that is. So It's, it's just like <laughs> an interlinear. Like, cool. It gives you, okay. like, you can find out basically any like, meaning of anything, any word in the, right. in the Bible. Okay, yeah. So obviously, here's the Acts 7.5. So it says, which are fathers that came after a brought with Jesus? So when we go to the interlinear, we look at the Greek word. So it's Jesus. Jesus right. So when we go to the meaning, it says, Jesus, the son of God, Joshua was the famous captain of the Israelites. So, so we can get from the interlinear, they both had the same name. So then that, that, again, that raises my point. Why would we translate Jesus into two different names, Joshua and Jesus? They would be consistent. That yeah, because, because Joshua is the direct translation and transliteration just tries to keep the sound. So it's not... Fair it's enough. Not, so what we're saying is that in, in the terms of translation, yeah. there hasn't been consistency on the behalf of the yeah. Bible writers yeah. when translating the names. Well, into, you have to concede well into English, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they've gone just gone with a what we call, it's called a, it's called an epoch, right? So it's basically or, sorry, an, an archaism. So basically, what they're trying to do is keep the sound original to what like an old time. So basically, they're just trying to keep the for tradition's sake, right. keep the pronunciation of the Greek of how they how people would have been aware of it yeah. but this is what we normally see Fair in enough, translation but we, like now we're doing a lot of Greek to English but what we're really concerned about is the Hebrew yeah really because the he, the, 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 the Greek is still going to be a translation of whatever the yeah. Hebrew so was. the Hebrew was Yeshua right but I'm saying you don't have that in the New Testament you don't have you, you don't have a Hebrew you don't have a Hebrew version of the New Testament where you can see it's Yahushua and then in the Greek it's been translated to but Jesus. why would you need that? Because it's like, if someone's translating what, what, it, I mean, even... Yeah. The, if, reason, the reason why you need because that is we because can, we need like a, yeah, but the thing a is chain. We, we can go through the scholars. The scholars have, who, who know linguistics, who can do the history. They've done the work for us. Okay. So that's why I don't need to necessarily go back and say, Fair enough. okay. Because, you would understand yeah, that I'm just going to be a bit wary yeah. of the fact that but biblical I, scholars are saying that's the meaning, whilst we don't have people or maybe we do, but from my knowledge, we don't have people who, ha who every day have the command of the Hebrew language and speak okay. it to themselves. But the thing is the Shitta, which is that Syriac Bible. Right. So Syriac is a modern day version of Aramaic. Right, yeah, yeah, it's new Aramaic. Yeah. Right. So basically in, his, in that, Jesus is referred to as Yeshua, right? Okay. And so you have the Eastern and Western pronunciation. So the Eastern pronounces his name as Isho. The Western, Western Aramaic, Yahweh is salvation. What? Translate to English. What? Yeshua. What would be English? Joshua. So, so, that, so now what, what, what I'm, the reason why I showed you in Acts, they used the name Jesus for Joshua is because they're aware that they had the same name. So it's translating as the same. So it's just to demonstrate to you that Jesus had the same name as um, yeah, it's Yeshua. Just a, it's just a little bit confusing that okay. you would not stay consistent and translate yeah, Joshua but, but that, as but, Joshua. But that's just more hu human um, kind of Trans translation, that's fine. You we say that, but you have to read into it. It's something that it's something that requires effort and time and study. But that's right? yeah. But so we've, we've, it's, got it's a, it's we've got the studies. We've got You can study fair, it. That's fair, what I'm saying. Because we have the confirmation inter interlinear. If you don't want to agree with it, you can research. But what, I'm, what my main point is this: when we look in the Islamic literature, his name is Yusha bin Nun. Joshua's name is Yusha. Yes. Yeah. But then you have Jesus in the Quran. His name is Isa. So they should have the same name as well. If you go with the if you go with the um, this the biblical scholar um, narration, well, well, we, then well, yeah, well we have confirmation from the Syriac tradition, the uh, the, the Roman Syri tradition, the Syriac and the Bible Jewish tradition. dated to the Syriac Bible. Yeah. That it's comes the, okay. That the, comes the, from. Was it Syriac Old Testament or Syriac New Testament? You have it New and Old Testament. But, okay. So the thing is. Before I go into Evans, I can yeah. prove that to you. But what I'm trying to say is, logically, they sh if they had the same name, they should have the same name. Okay, let me yeah, ask you. Yeah, so I'm let saying, me, logically, me, okay, if they have the same let name, me ask you this, let Joshua me start, being the let me, earliest let, let me, let pronunciation me start with, should be let, Joshua let me in the New Testament. An easier question. What does, your name, what does your name mean? 
Which one? Your name is Isa. Isa. Yeah. What does it mean? I don't know what it means. So how can you choose a name that you don't know the meaning of? If um, I say to you, what does Muhammad mean? Yeah. You'll tell me the uh, phrase one. Right? Now he's chosen a name for himself that he doesn't know the name. No, 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 but he has another meaning to it. Yeah. Ask him okay. why he chose it. No, 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 no. There's a reason the, why he chose okay. it. Doesn't mean you have yeah, a but, meaning. Yeah, but the thing is, how, how you, that name could mean donkey. What does so Mark mean? Your, what does Mark mean? I can but, go to but, Indonesia. But it doesn't, what does it mean right it now? Does, it does, my name it does, is not Mark. I'm saying, what does Mark mean? No, no, but I'm asking you a question. What does Mark mean? It, make, it makes sense. If you choose a name, that name could mean donkey. So wouldn't it make sense that you check what that name means? So that you make you, so, so no, 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 so I'm not, I'm not trying to insult I know what you're saying. No, no. Say, you're, what, you're, it's like, the, if I ask you what your name is, you can tell me what it means. If I ask anyone here, you don't know what your name is. The premise. Is. I do. You don't know what your name is? Okay. All right. The, the, the premise, the premise is okay. sound, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? But I'll tell you why the application is not. Okay. Because quite clearly I've said I've chosen the name Esau, yeah, yeah. right? Out of emulation of a prophet that I love. Okay. All right. Right? Yeah, yeah. So that's the reason why okay. I chose it. All right. As for the meaning, yeah? Okay. Not every name necessitates a meaning. But even if it did, the meaning of that name is not known to me. So, and I'm fine so with that. names don't necessitate a meaning according to who? Names don't necessitate, um, according to us now. Like okay. that the brother mentioned, he mentioned now the that name. that would be a fallacy, an, an ignorant statement you're making. I'll tell you why. Wow. Because if you know the Bible, for example, we always see a, Abraham's name was changed, right? Is um, Jacob's name was changed. Eve was named by Adam. That's fair we enough. know what Adam means, but, right? So what I'm trying to say, culturally, okay, please, that in is, the beginning that is of too... time, names have always had a historic meaning, especially in Judaism. That, that's a fallacy, first off, okay. because you're going according to biblical tradition. Again, right? we're, we're going, going we're, 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 we're going against against historical tradition because yeah, so, okay, because so we what can is the meaning of Adam. Adam means from the ground. According to what? What language? Yeah. <laughs> According to Hebrew. So Adam is a Hebrew. Okay, what in Arabic, what does it mean? Adam I don't know. Okay. We, shall we go to the interlinear? We can just saying, we can quickly just, just we can quickly in your argument or anything. Right. Hebrew means ah. so you said Adam means something, but it's according to who? So we go so according to so any any name to has either a, a, um, a verb. We can look at the etymology of a word. So we, if we don't understand, we can yeah. look at the etymology. The thing is, you, you, you see, a name in, is a compound. In, in order to have an etymology, yeah, yes. right, you need to be able to go back to a language. Now, okay. Adam precedes all those languages that you're talking about. He precedes Hebrew, precedes what? Aramaic, <laughs> precedes Arabic. Who told you that? If you've got some fact to say that Adam spoke. Hebrew, That's present what I'm here. Saying to you. I'm saying present to you. here, but we have no. No, no, no. You're, making, have, you're no. making a mistake. I'm let saying me, we have no evidence. You. We let have no evidence you. to attribute Adam to the Arabic, you're, Hebrew, you're or mistake. Abraham or Syriac languages. Okay. You don't have any. Now, now, let me say this because we can even argue that Adam's name wasn't Adam, but when it was written in Hebrew, it was classed as Adam. For example, when we look at the Greek, we know Jesus spoke in Hebrew, but we see the translation into the Greek. So therefore, even we can apply that same logic. So even if you wanted to say that Adam's name may have been something else, it would have translated into Adam. So we're saying in Hebrew can, has a meaning. So we're saying so we can, we can to easily to you, translate names. But then. what I, exactly? So what I'm saying is, why not then just translate the name? So when it comes to Jesus, you're saying that Jesus means God saves. So why not just write God saves instead of instead of because because and if you're going to translate it. That's because, what I'm no, no, no. You're, you're, yeah, you're getting confused about how we process names. So we either translate them into the language or yeah. we transliterate them. Based on what though? There has to be a methodology in doing According so. According to everything we know in this world, we don't need to do it biblically. No, no, I'm For saying example, general, I'm If saying... any of you speak a language, another language, you will know names in that language that when they're put into English, they'll say it's either transliterated or translated. Okay. My name means this in another language. That's what we do with it. doesn't have to be biblical. Yeah. You know, these are like lang linguistic fundamentals what? that everyone understands. But what I'm trying to say yeah. to you is like... Do you realise that's a reputation? of your point bro. When you, you ask me what's my name is, so, yes. when I'm called, if I'm called by my mother or any of my companions, they will say to me Isa. They will not call me by the meaning of what Isa means. You're, you're confusing what I'm saying. I'm saying a name has a meaning but you don't need to call the person by the meaning. So what, what, how is that germane to the topic that we're actually speaking about now? Because I'm saying to you, the name Yeshua is a compound. So for Yes, it's the short form of Yao, or Yahweh, right? And Shua means to save or salvation. It's a compound name. So we can actually look 
if you go and ask someone what does Shua mean in Hebrew, they'll tell you it means saved. So we know the name means Yahweh is salvation. Who would we go back to to, to find so out what, what, for example, what Shua means in Hebrew? For example, we have the name Tibrael. El is always used for God. So the name means he who is mighty like God. Right? Anytime you see El in the name, it means so this is just I know what L means. Yeah, exactly. But, 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 so what, what I'm it? saying to you, any name, okay, give me a name. If you disagree, we'll go to the interlinear because we're trying to work it out. I'm just saying L is actually L is the title of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're saying any and language. Say languages share the same meaning. So L in Arabic, would this be the same meaning? It may not have the same meaning. That's why you either translate or transliterate. So therefore, if you, have, if you have a name in another language and you transliterate it, you have to go to the original language to understand what that name means. Yes? So therefore, if we have, for example, Jesus in Greek. I think you overskipped my point. If we have Jesus in Greek, then we go to the Hebrew to know what it means. If we have the word Isa, because in the Quran, let me prove my point, Allah gave the name to Mary and Joseph, yes? No. no Sorry, no okay, Mary yeah. to Mary. Now, Mary was what? 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 Did Mary give the, Allah gave the name to Mary? Yes. That, no, it was, 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 was Gibriel. Well, not from the Quran. Yeah, according to the Quran, it's Gibriel. Where, where, where do you get that from? Because I know that Yahya got his name from the angel. And, yeah, and um, from Allah. Okay, that's why he's I'm gonna have to educate you guys. Hold Go on, let's do it. Bro. All right. What's your point in it? No, we well, can't be in big shoe life. Because we're going after, but I'm just trying to explain. No, yeah, it's just a slabbish place, isn't it? Because we can't right. throw out things and all that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we go to Al Imran. Yeah. Uh, 45 to 46 it says remember the angel said oh Mariam, verily Allah gives you glad tidings a word of thee and he was Isa oh, yeah, stop, stop. Don't okay let me just go to um, what's the first what's the first Al Iram um, 45 yeah that's right Al Imran 45 to 46 because even from the Bible yeah. like even in English if someone you have people called like Baker Goldsmith and whatever because now it might not mean anything to anyone but historically that was related to your family trade you're the son of yeah, so therefore names before you had surnames as well names are always historically important that's why you can ask the Jew what is it Alright, so now he's given the name. So now, that's my question to you. Mary was a Hebrew, on an Israelite. What was, the, what was the Hebrew name or Aramaic name that Allah gave? We don't know. Okay, why is it you You're don't know? You're going to assume wait, wait, wait. something okay. and then make no, that I'm asking you. The reason why we don't know is because okay. we have an Arabic Quran and Allah has not mentioned what, him, okay. yeah, what, the, what the, the names, all the names yeah, that we have in the Quran yeah. are Arabicized versions of what they okay. would have been called. So Musa, then. Moshe, is that Arabic? Musa is an Arabic yeah, 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 word. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So Mo Moshe in Hebrew is what? Musa. No, no, in Arabic it's Musa. Exactly. Right. It transliterates because it no, goes. No, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, right. That's okay. my whole point. Right. Transliteration. So therefore, yeah. we should do the same with the name Isa. Give me the Hebrew. But your premise that saying it's Yeshua, we don't agree with that. No, no, actually. The thing is, we don't agree or disagree. The thing is, we don't agree or disagree. But it, it, listen, you're super, wait, wait, wait. super imposing it. Yes, you are. That's fine. That's what I'm saying to you. Yeah. Give me your Hebrew name. No, no, you're working from. You're working. Okay, that's what I'm wait, saying. To you. No, he's working from. A, wait, you're working from every, a fallacious standpoint. Every, every, let me let me make let my point. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Let me let, let me make my point. Because every name, as I said to you, Muhammad means the praise one. So if Allah is naming someone, we need to. Muhammad means Hebrew. Muhammad means. Muhammad means Hebrew. But it's actually Hebrew as well. It's in the Bible. What does it mean? I know you have Ahmed, which is praise or something like that. Mohammedan. Mohammedan. I I'll have to look at it. But Mohammedan is that it doesn't mean it's that's not Mohammed's name because Mohammed when you have him at the end, it's the plural. When they because that's from Ahmadi that he said, Oh, in the Song of Songs you see the word Mohammedan. But then he's trying to say, Oh, this is the name of Mohammed. That's a lie you look at. I'm not trying to get an argument, but that's what I'm saying. It's not really a lie. That's not a whole That's not Mohammed's name. That's why you have Elohim. When you have the Elohim is plural. So Muhammad, 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 
plural because it's not a plural and it's the, 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 the evidence is that is that when, 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 when God in the Bible said to, to, to Moses we're going to send you as Elohim that as a singular person and he used the plural for him do we, shall we so, go to the interlinear? bro that's okay, the next point shall we go to the interlinear? this is what I'm saying we can go, so, 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 go to the interlinear right. once I make my point yeah? okay the, it, you're coming from a fallacious standpoint of saying uh, Musa is the transliteration of Moshe yeah we have the, we have the Hebrew Old Testament of Moshe, yeah. right? And we have Allah calling Musa, okay. uh, Musa, okay. right? Now so we have so we have a, we have a reference, okay. yeah, that we can we can. Even though, to be honest, I, I would I don't even need the but, biblical but, form of but Moshe let me you or whatever. You know Wait, when you have the name, though, but bro. when you have the name Musa, you can actually reset yourself and find out what it goes back. No, to. you can't. How, you how can't. can you not? You cannot. Because all they've changed is the shin. No, because listen, when you can't, when you get Arab, when you get Arabicized names, yeah, they become mamnuk in the south. You can't change them around. It et et etymologically, they differ from the Arabic names. So it's not like you can Arabicize, you can you can um, you can change them around and say this meant that or this is a compound term. No, once it translates, okay. it's, a, shall, it's a name. Shall we see? Shall I say? Because we're going on. Shall I say what you're spelling? You can say. You can say. You can, you can because, whatever the we, because people who know linguistics will agree with me and that's fine. why we're going around in circles fine. and let that's, me just kind fine. of say what the spellers that's say that's fine you can say and then you can, say who, it, what you, you can it, find okay. what I'm just going to say he's an okay. Arabic term was it borrowed what they say it's borrowed the fact yeah. is, he's, he's asking, yeah, what is the Hebrew version, yes. right, of the word Esau, yeah. which I've been asking him for days, and you don't, you don't have a Hebrew equivalent for Esau because exactly. there is no reference, yes. yes, to Jesus in Hebrew. There isn't one. The only yeah. thing you can do is some guesswork to say yeah. um, yeah. that, that Yusha, his okay. name, yeah, which translates to Yusha as well, which is. If you want to say it's a transliteration, which is further evidence, Aisa and Yusha are two different names, right? So if you're saying that somehow Arab, uh, 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 in the Arabic language you can somehow break it down and find the Hebrew, that's incorrect. Because we have Aisa and we have Yusha. But my point is, we have Joshua and we have his name in the Old Testament. We have Miriam's name in the Old Testament. We have these prophets' names in the Old Testament. We do not have Jesus being referred to in the Old Testament. So us saying we don't know is perfectly permissible as, a, as, a, as an answer. We don't know. We don't have a Hebrew text. Okay, now what, again, you're not making sense of your argumentation because Jesus' name doesn't need to be in the Old Testament. Because if we know through translation that, for example... How do we know from translation? Because, for example, Josh, Yeshua's name, or Joshua, when it was written in Greek, and I, because we're going around the same point, I've shown you from a strong concordance. Joshua's name when written in Greek yeah, is what? Because it's Jesus. Right. I've shown okay. the thing is, So Jesus is we're, we're going around. So, okay, let's just so Jesus' is name, is written, in, in, Jesus is name written in Arab in, in, in Hebrew is what? Jesus' name in Hebrew is what? Yeshua. Based on what? Because we can one, we can reverse. Based on Joshua's name. Because one, we know what names translated into the Greek. Two, we have the Peshitta, we still have his original name. What is the Peshitta? It's the Aramaic version, right. right? But the Aramaic version is not Hebrew though. But so we're asking about Hebrew and we're talking about the, the to Aramaic. Is, you, you're, not, you're not understanding the, the language. What, why? I, listen, okay, they're, they're me, all three of them are Semitic languages. Whilst they have similarities, me, yeah, okay, the meanings me, and all those languages, you're not saying the same you're, thing. You're getting confused. Okay. Let me explain it to you. Because when you have a name in Hebrew, his name was Yeshua in Hebrew. His name was Yeshua as well in Aramaic. But you don't have but, a you don't have a biblical but text again, to that. Because if I ask, we because we still have language now, and I say to someone, what right. does the name Yeshua in Aramaic translate to in Hebrew? They can give me the Hebrew name. If I oh. want to then find out what it is into into Greek, it's the same thing. I started this by showing you how we got the Greek. So therefore, you're confused about how we get a name and I'm kind of I'm going around trying to establish to you how no, we get a name. What you're doing is, you're, it's, it's kind of, what you're doing is overcomplicating things. You're saying we know the meaning of the name, so via the meaning of the name we've translated it here over. That's not how names okay. are translated. Give me when your you, contention when, then, listen, let me address So my contention is look, forward. when Allah looked at the names, yeah? Okay of the prophets he simply arabicized them he didn't what go into mean? it means he may put them in arabic forms he didn't go into the meanings behind them and then somehow uh, uh, somehow change the letters okay. in accordance so now let me ask you a question can a hebrew name translate into an arabic name can a hebrew name yeah. translate into an arabic like we name? have moshe and yeah. musa that's just 
Can the Arabic name translate into an Arabic name? No, a Hebrew name? A name, yes. a name cannot be translated. Okay. As for the meanings of the names, right. then yes, you can translate so, the meanings. Now my question is this. If you have an Arabized form of a name, because you know it's borrowed from the original, shouldn't we then be able to try and establish what the original name was it's in that a, language? It's not a necessity. No, no, but I'm saying, sh shouldn't it be logical that if a name, for example, if you have a name John, names, let, wait, let, me, let, me, let me make my point. The Quran let, and let the Bible weren't, let, they didn't come so you ponder over people's names. Okay. They came to direct you to the worship of the Creator. But that's a problem. When we look at the Bible, we see why, actually, let's go to Matthew. What is your argument? Wait, 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 wait. What is your argument? Because he, wait, 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 First of all, when we look at historically in languages, especially in the Bible, every single name has a meaning. That's why angels, for example, have the name El on the end, because it's something related yeah, to God. Let, 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 let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. When we see Jacob's name was changed to Israel, God tells us why he changed his name. When we see in the Bible, when Jesus was named, the angel tells Mary why he was going to be called Yeshua. So we always see through culture, for example, your Ghanaian, we know wait, people... Wait, wait, you said when the, Mer when the angel, which angel told Mary? Gabriel, do you want to see the verse? In the Quran or no, the, Bible? the Bible? Right, he said right. to Mary, what did he say? That he would be called Emmanuel, right? No, that's not to, uh, to Mary. That's not let's, to Mary, no? Let's go, let me show you what he said. Okay. Because you're talking about he, they, they will call him, he didn't say you will call Okay, him. so yeah, that, I don't, yeah, I'm not yeah. familiar that's with right. that. But Gabriel. let me show you the verse because I, I have to break it down to you and it's like we're going around in circles. No, no, it's not going around in circles, right. bro. You just so this to is what the break Bible it down says. and just be basic. So people, That's what can, I'm so to people so I, I can understand right. and people can understand. So, angel comes to Mary. This is Matthew 121. She will bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. So this has given us the meaning of the name because Yeshua So the one who Yahweh saves people from their sins then. It's, yeah, but but now you've given another translation and say, God saves. Yeah, Yahweh is salvation, right? So that's what the name the name means. But that's uh, not what Matthew the text That's not what the text Yeah, because it's given us an understanding Fair enough. of why. I'm not even gonna so, dwell on that. So no. what I'm trying to say to you is the same point. That Jesus had the same name as Yeshua. I've shown you from the interlinear. So if you have any disagreement, you can do some music. But I've shown you from all the scholarship, when we go to the interlinear, they've shown you that Jesus and Joseph, um, Yeshua, Ben Nun, had the same name. Listen, I'm, you can, you can yeah, show all the scholarship that's, that's in the fine, world, yeah? Fine. But you still don't have, to what you still don't have a Hebrew right, text, listen. yeah, which refers to Jesus by Yehoshua or Yeshua or whatever. Okay. It's, now, con it's now, purely now, conjecture okay, and translation. Now let me tell you this, we have the Aramaic. You say Jesus spoke Aramaic, right? Yeah. So we have his name in Aramaic. Okay. So now what's do, your conclusion? Do we, have a, do, we have his, do we have his name in Aramaic? Yes. Right, so what is it then? It's Yeshua as well. No, it's not Yeshua. Yes, brother. it is. You just it's pronounced, e you have two pronounced, right. listen to what I'm okay. saying. You have two pronunciations, Yeshua and Isho. Okay, so if, okay, okay, cool. So if, okay. Right, so let's go to Arabic. We've got Isho. Yes. Yeah, in Arabic, you have an Arabicized form, Asa. All right. There you go. Okay. Simple. All right. Now, 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 if that's the case, Wait, even now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now let me get to my point. Because Yeshua, Joshua in Eastern Aramaic would also be called Isho. Or he, in Western Syriac, he would be called Yeshua. They still have the same name as Jesus, right? But in the Islamic literature, Joshua is called Yusha. And then in the Quran, Jesus is called Isa. So we have two different names for the people who had exactly the same name. Now one translates exactly, Yusha goes back into the Hebrew, right? Because it's an accurate, now let me show you the evidence. Because this is the point I was trying show to get us, to. Show us, show us All right. the, show us the show reference. You, of, I'll show you the spelling. Show us the right? re reference of Joshua in the you, New Testament. Ar Ar yeah. Okay. I'll show you first the breakdown of the name. So Yehoshua was his long form. Yod Shin, Yod Hei Shin Wav Ain. Yeshua is Yod Shin Wav Ain. And the Christian Arabs use yes, Yeshua. Ya sin wav ain. The Christian Arabs use that. Why did they not refute the prophet let, Muhammad let, when let, he came let's, with let's just, let's just, let, let, let's just look at the evidence. And then Isa is ain, ya sin ya. 
so the name actually changes. So let me just give you this as well. That was. No, no, no. Let's go back to that. Wait, Come on. Let, let I, me I, make nah, my point. That was sorry. Let, let me that, make was my point. that was very disingenuous. Let me. Let me. I'm showing you the same thing. This is. I'm showing you the same. Now nah, come back. Wait, to, wait. Let me make my go point. Go on, make your because point. I'm showing you. So now this is in the the language um, characters. This is the Hebrew. That's the Aramaic. That's what the um, Arabic Christians use. And this is what is in the Quran. So we can go back to that name, right? So I'm showing you. Look. Let's look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Let's look. Because you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, okay. there's nothing. Yeah, go on. We're gonna come back. In to Hebrew. That. You have the Yod and Arabic, you have the Yod. No, no you don't. Sorry, that's not true. What, what do the Arab that's Christians use? No, what the Arab Christians use now is Yeshua. Okay. Right? And the, the, the evidence of that is okay. that when Esau was pronounced to the Arab Christians back then, okay. right, and, and pronounced to, um, and the fact that they still use it widely in the Muslim world, the okay. way Esau, oh. yeah, indicates they had no issue with it. Okay. Because it is the Arabicized, on, from your own, from your own uh, explanation, it's the Arabicized version of the Aramaic okay. and the Greek, okay. right? Okay. So they accepted that Esau was okay. the son of Mary and they had no qualms right. with that. Now, the only thing they might have disagreed on was what the actual okay. story was. Now, that's very easy to clarify. First of all, the oldest actual inscription in Arabia were from Christians and the na oldest name we can find was from about the second century and they used the name Yasha which goes back into the Yeshua. Can you show us this? That will have to give me... Yeah, that's fine. That's now fine. we can always come back. Yeah, yeah. It's not, we'll a, come back it's not a thing of I'm trying to be. I just want the facts so now all laid down. Say to you is this. Yeah. Now, if we're in East, so if, are we working if, with that premise then? We're no, working no. with the premise that's No, but I'm just saying to right. you because you said the, the Christians use whatever. Use, they I'm had no issue with it, right? right. I'm just saying, saying, showing to you when you do your research and I try and find it that the oldest inscription what we find from what Christians use it was a name Yasha. But that's not my point. Now we have the name Isho in Syria. So if Muhammad comes and says the name Isa, phonetically it sounds similar, but so people may not have had a contention with it. The problem is the Quran wasn't written down until like maybe a little bit here and there, but it wasn't written until after the Prophet, right? So the whole Quran was written before he died. The whole Quran. The whole Quran it was just compiled. It's like it's a perfect right. statement. Okay. The, 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 the Quran was compiled in the time of Abu Bakr and, sta and, sta and standardized in the time of Ahmad. Exactly. Right. Didn't your Prophet tell people not to write the. So you're telling me? I'm telling you. Okay, listen. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I'm telling you that the Quran was written down on parchments, it was memorized. Okay. Skins, whatever exactly. the people could find. So some, it doesn't mean so that the Quran yes. was not written down. It was a Yes, yeah, but it wasn't fully written down. That's why when it was being compiled, when it was Aisha being, had her own when, when it was being compiled, Aisha had her own Musa. Okay. Hafsa had her own Musa. Okay. Right? They just had, it wasn't standardized. You can't say that the Quran wasn't there or written down just because it okay. wasn't standardized. So, how did. I don't want to go off topic. Uh, when Uthman compiled the Quran, what did he do? He told people you needed obviously the two witnesses, right? What did he do? And he also so got he, rid okay. and it also got rid so, of the standard of, of right. other than Quraysh. So yeah, so, right. so not everything was written. So no, no, not, uh, no, no, no. Not everything was written. Did I tell you why? Because in the battle of if not everything was written. Started battle, writing after. Because in the battle of Yamama, yeah. Muslims were getting killed. And they feared that the Quran would be lost. If they had it written down, then you just go to the dead person and locate where it was written down. Because some people had memorized it, they were fearing that it would go missing. So not all of the Quran was written down. That, read, read your sources, even read outside YouTube. What was the point? No, no, but I'm saying you know what, you know what people have said. You. Okay. Is, it, is, it, is it true or false? In during the Battle of Yamama, Muslims were dying, and that prompted Muslim, um, Uthman to then compile the Quran. Was it Uthman or Abu Bakr? Abu Bakr had a version which differed from Uthman. Now, the Battle of Yamama, from what yes. I understand, yes. was Abu Bakr, right? Abu Bakr commissioned, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abu Bakr commissioned yeah, yeah, yeah. the people yeah, yeah. because, yeah, the, because exactly. the Quran were dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, right. because they were dying. Because the Quran not because everything dying. was written no, down. No, no, that, that's, that's an assumption that because they were dying, that must mean that not everything was written down. Okay. No, that's not it, what it is. It, 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 it's, 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 it's a long 
I don't want to go on a tangent because I want to stick on the thing. But I'm saying when you read your sources, we, we, we want to discuss this again next week. We can because that was the reason people Muslims were dying in the battle and they feared they would lose the Quran. So therefore, they said, "Let's come by." Because some people had memorized it. So therefore, if someone who's memorized a verse that was revealed to them dies, they then will have lost the Quran. Right. So you're saying that verses came down, right? Yeah. yeah. Where we have a hadith. Where Ali ibn Abi Khalid saying when a verse would come down, he would write at the time of the messenger. But, right? But I'm You're saying, saying that sometimes people memorized and didn't write down. Because it was an oral tradition, right? It was therefore, tradition. not everything was written. That's why the not, Quran was easy to memorize. Not let's, everything let's, was written let's down. Let's not conflate two things. Just because okay. not everybody right. wrote doesn't mean not everything was written. That's two different things. Okay. Not everybody had their own I, I'm going to make this last point. Go on. If we, everything was written down, we would be able to find the original Quran on the stick stones, bones, and everything. That's, that's because, fallacious No, no, no. So where is all the evidence? That's fallacious because as well. everything... But listen. Okay. Do, anyway, okay, materials, you know materials degrade, okay. things get lost, okay. libraries were right. destroyed. Everything, there, was, everything, there are so yeah, many things. Saying, everything's gone missing. But is, that's fine. If you, think, right. if, that, if you think that's suspicious, that's cool. That's, that's your fine. premise. You're, that, that, you're, you're entitled to that. We can have a debate. So that's off that. topic. Let's stick onto the name of Isa, right? But, but we, 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 okay. we beat that one. No, but that this one. is what I'm saying to you. Go on. Jesus has the same name as Yeshua. I've shown you from the interlinear. You can you've shown me, but you haven't Listen, shown me. Okay, I've given you scholarly evidence. I don't need to go anything else. Yes, actually, you didn't mention any scholars. You just said that scholars what, what say. Is it? What's the interlinear? I don't know what the interlinear is. An interlinear is, is like going to Lane's lexicon or something like that. Okay. Right. No, no, wait. Lane's lexicon is a dictionary. Okay, exactly. It's a dictionary. What does a dictionary do? A dictionary translates. But, oh, no, wait. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. Does, do you know, no, do you know, no, no, no. Do you know what how Arabic... Dic, what does a dictionary do? A dictionary translates. It gives you the words. meaning of right. words. So right, an no. interlinear does the same thing. The fact, that, the fact that you would, you would, you would compare Lane's lexicon, which is a contemporary Arabic lexicon, right? To the interlinear means that you're working from 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 Listen, modern times, not ancient times. If we want a, if we want an ancient lexicon, we go back to Lisan al Arab. Listen, we go back to the old school Quran. Listen, Listen, Listen to what I'm saying. That are close to the people there. Listen, you don't have anything like that. Listen to what I'm saying to you. When we go to people spend their lives doing this, right? So when we go to the interlinear, it's trustworthy. No, no, that that's good. That is that is sorry. That's fallacious. Just because people just because people spent their whole lives. Working on something doesn't necessarily does it necessarily okay. that they're completely correct. Okay. Are there not scientists right. that work on so, theories okay. for their whole life? And end up getting proved okay. wrong. Tell me what Jesus' original name is. I say we don't have it. You don't you don't, don't know. We don't know. No, 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 we wait, don't wait, have wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. We, we, don't, have, wait. we don't have it. Wait, wait, wait. And if we're gonna go by Aramaic, if we're let gonna go by Aramaic, we've always said it's easy. Then you should be listening. You have no argument. Another fallacy. Another fallacy. Because that would that would suggest you have the name, but you don't have the name. So that's why you listen and I explain. No, you don't have the name. Let me explain. You can explain all you like, and I will listen to your explanation, but you have no right to tell us we don't know, so we must listen. We're in the same boat, fam. Let's go and see what the scholarship says. So, so what's the point of this? The right. point is, I don't. It just wants to drive. I, I think the, 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 end, the end goal is, yeah, that Allah got Isa's name wrong, so therefore he can't be right. Why are you following the Quran? That's the full answer of the argument. That's, this, is my, this is my point. Okay. I need you. We know the Bible was a primary source, right? What that means? No, it wasn't. A primary source. Come on, was Luke, was Luke a primary source? Okay. Okay, anyway, we know the Bible is what a primary source is. It means that someone gets first hand information, right? Do you know what that means? If, it means that you were there at the time. If yes? you witness an event, okay. sorry, wait, no, wait, 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 no, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, this is basic, this is history 101. No, no, this is history 101. Well, right. if you witness an event okay. and you come to me in, in, in Kennington, South London, and say to me, I witnessed the sun going up, I am not a primary source. I am a secondary source. You are the primary source because you witnessed the event. Yeah. Right. So as soon as you relate to me, I am secondary. So therefore, therefore, if you were to argue that the Torah was a primary source, Source, I might be able to say, yeah, cool. Okay. The Torah is. Shall we see what? But as for the New Testament, shall, shall we see what? Nah, you need to prove that, mate. Shall we see what scholarship says? Let's see what scholarship says. All right. I wonder if there's Christians bar here. I'm <laughs> not
because I'm having to break down everything. Yeah, for well, you listen, guys, we're man. all listen. The thing is, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be hard pressed to do that. You just treat us as we're all donuts. We don't know nothing, and then just break it down. That's why I say you have to listen. Then, all right. Hey Soko, your comments are going to be mad underneath this video, I know. We're going <laughs> round and round, oh my days. <laughs> be nice to eat, sir. Nice. Um, I don't know if he has an issue with those names. Do you have, do you have issues with the, with the other yeah, names? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You, you have to listen and make me make my point. Because you keep going on, I have to explain it to you. I've not even given, like, made a proper argument. All right. Actually, you're gonna relish the day when you come with something other than the name. <laughs> All right. So, because actually, because we have the synoptic gospels, right? Yeah. What Matthew, Matthew Mark, Luke, and John. John, right? So they were. Let's. So they were all, because obviously um, they were people who interact with Jesus, right? So that's, that's the assumption. Okay, but scholars don't have any, any, uh, any issue with that. But so primary sources, primary sources are immediate, first-hand accounts of a topic from people who had a direct connection with it. Primary sources can include text of laws or other original documents, newspaper reports by reporters who witness an event or who quote people who did. So now you've told me, I've given you, I've told you, I, that's why when you say something, you know what you're talking about because I know what a primary source is and I've just get, gone to Google, right? And you can look at it for yourself. So you said Luke wasn't because he didn't switch yeah. directly. And I disagree with that's that journalism. definition of that. That's fine, journalism. but what, 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 you, what you're going to say, he's talking about journalism. Is that journalism? Is that journalism? Yeah, example you gave, this is the example you gave. Is that In journalism, no, no. a primary source can be a person with direct knowledge of a situation or a document written okay. by such a person. All right, so now let's just I'll go with his argument. Sorry. What was Luke? Was he a journalist? Yeah, kind of was. That. You kind of was. You're, you're the one who read that, so therefore... So that means if that's Luke, not journalism. Luke can, can therefore then be co confirmed as a journalist, someone who's writing from eyewitnesses. That's so fair enough. That Let's 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 not digress. What exactly. we're trying to say is Luke, so now, Luke himself right. did not witness Christ. I didn't say that's, that. that's right. When you say, prim no, when you say primary exactly. source, yeah. you give off that you, without clarifying, you give off right. the elucidation. Okay. You, you, but, you, we give off the point that Luke that's, that's actually witnessed Christ. You have the understanding. No, no, of we don't. Let's not assume anything. I have to break it down very. All right, we'll break it down very simply. So now what I'm saying to you is that's why when we look at how they translated words from Hebrew to Greek, they were very accurate because they were people who lived at the time and who understood the language. This is why people can differentiate between primary sources and secondary sources because a secondary source will usually a secondary source will usually add a layer of interpretation to what they're quoting, right? So what what I'm trying to show you. So what's the definition of a secondary source? Though? All right, shall we? I'll read from the um, that side. So they put a secondary secondary sources are one step removed from primary sources. Though they often quote or otherwise use primary sources, they can cover the same topic but add a layer of interpretation and analysis. So therefore, it means like if someone is a primary source, that like the Bible is a primary source, then if someone relates from the Bible, then it becomes a secondary source. So the Bible would be the primary source, then you're interpreting from the Bible, then whatever you're interpreting becomes a secondary source. So what I'm saying to you, this is why, because they were he Israelites, they were aware of what Jesus' name translated to in the Greek. That's why when you write, read the Bible, they write his name as Jesus. And they also write um, Joshua's name as Jesus. So when we translate it into English, that's why we see in the King James, they're both put as Jesus. Now, when we get to the Quran and Islamic literature, you see um, Joshua, who's correctly translated, because that's the, how the name Yeshua or Yehoshua goes to Yusha in Arabic. But then for some reason, we now see a layer of interpretation on the name of Esau. Because they, when they don't have the same name, it means there's something 
a foot. And this would be evidence of a secondary source. Because what because what did he say? What wait 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 what did he say? Right? He said um, Arab, Arab, Hebrew names can be Arabized, right? So when a name is Arabized, it becomes like a, a product of a secondary source because you're taking it from something else and then you're giving it a layer of interpretation. No, but that's what I'm saying. What you, you said something can be Arabized. Yeah, I'm saying names so are I'm saying to you, when something's Arabized, it becomes a product of a secondary source. This is what, if you're a historian, but, and let me, let, let, me, let me explain to you why I can explain it. Because we have the Peshitta, for example, right? Muslims will say, or maybe not you, What's the secondary but, source? What is the secondary source that becomes a result? What do you mean? You said yeah. that when you're Arabized something, yeah, yeah. So, the product yeah, it's from taken, a secondary source. Well, it's, What's that secondary or, source? Or it's taken from a prime, like... Right. The, All right, so, so say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so taken from it's the original. It's taken from a primary source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, 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 so what I'm trying to say now is, for example, we have the Peshitta, which was in Aramaic. And then still don't know, like, it's still giving us no dates of the Peshitta or like, okay, the Peshit, yeah, the Peshitta, like, what scholars say the, about the, it. The Peshit, like. Yeah, that's fine, I'll show you what the scholars say. The Peshitta was written in the, it was compact, I think, between the 2nd and the 5th century. That's the old end of the New Testament. So it's in, basically it's in Aramaic say that this was what tried to challenge the Greek to say that Aramaic came first before the Greek because people say well why was it if Jesus wrote Aramaic then he then it should have been written in Aramaic but the problem with the Feshitta is in it you see words borrowed from the Greek so for example the, Jesus in Hebrew could use means Bethora and Arabic is Grishra. So when they translate, because it's called Evangelion in Greek, which comes from Bethora. So when we look at the Peshitta, they use the word Awangelion. So now that's taken from the Greek, because if they take that directly from Jesus, he would have been saying, I come with the Bethora, which means good news. So that's how people can understand. So that's why they give primacy to the Greek. So now I'll give you a quote from a scholar because I showed you the way how we got the name Jesus. It was through translations. So I thought to myself, well, if the Greek, because I wanted to find out what his original name was, like you were saying, well, what is it in Hebrew? So I said to myself, if they copy from the Greek, the name would be problematic. Like you will see the same kind of distortion as we see in the English because it goes to the Greek and then the English, right? Because that's why we have Jesus rather than Joshua. And this is what he said to me, and I'll show you who he was. Yeah, let me just, yeah, let me just quickly make a point, because you guys are listening. But, alright, so this is the guy, Sebastian Brock, and he, he's the Oxford scholar, so they say he's the foremost academic in the field of Syriac language, basically the Peshitta. So I emailed him and I asked him, where did the name in the Peshitta come from? So basically, and that's his email, I don't need to read it to you, if you want to read it to you, I can. Do you want me to read it to you? Yeah, I'll read it, that's fine. Right. So he says, he says, thanks for your message. The Syriac form of the name has nothing directly to do with the Greek Jesus, but will have come to early Syriac speaking Christians by the way of Jewish Aramaic, and so presumably reached the old Syriac and the Peshitta Gospels by oral traditions. The name will have been very familiar long before anyone ever thought of translating the Greek Gospels into Syriac. Since vocalization signs were not introduced until about the 7th or 8th century, there is no way of knowing how the continent Yod Shin Wab Ain were pronounced by early Syriac speaking Christians, but by the time of vocalization, the Eastern and Western Syriac tradition of the pronunciation had diverged. So one has Isho in Eastern Syriac, and in Western Syriac, they have Yeshua. So what happened is the name was always spelt the same, but the pronunciation diverged. So one said Isho, they didn't pronounce the Y and emphasize like the E sound, and the other still kept the E sound as with you would in Hebrew. So therefore, what we're seeing now, and that's why I went to the spelling, just to show this is still the same as the Hebrew. So we have confirmation of what it was. So if they had taken from the Greek, the name would have been distorted. 
because if if you have books, remember from the Hebrew to the Greek, they don't have the same alphabet. Right? So that's why we get Yesu from Yeshua because they didn't have the Shin, for example, in uh, in, in Greek. So therefore, they had to like change the letter, and because they have gram grammatical rules, they added the S on the end, for example. So if you're an Aramaic speaker and you're reading the Greek, you would not necessarily know what the Hebrew was. You would have just translated from the Greek, so it would have been similar sounding to the Greek. Because if you're copying from something, you'd have to copy from the, what you're reading from. But, so that's what he's confirming that because they knew that oral had their own oral tradition, they always kept the name, and you would obviously expect. If Jesus was who we say he was, everyone, his reputation would have preceded him. So people would have talked about him and people would have known his name before they even see the guy. You know what I mean? It's like everyone knows who Michael Jackson was. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie. This, is, this is all baffling. That's fine. It's all baffling. What, 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 let me summarise my point. So what I'm trying to say to you is that the name has always consistently been spelled the same. Right? So we know what his Hebrew name was. So I'm saying then we see the same name translate into Arabic because we see it in your Islamic Sahih Hadith. But then when we see a distortion in the two names, we have to say if Allah knew that they have the same name and the name actually translates into Arabic, why, first of all, is Allah showing signs of a secondary source and mistranslating it based on the Aramaic Isho? Because Allah is the all know, knows all languages, and that's why I say to you. Even so you said it should have been based on the Aramaic. Then. It should have been based on the Hebrew. Is that what exactly. Because what right. I'm saying to you, that's even why though I'm Jesus never spoke Hebrew, his parents never spoke Hebrew. Right, so they were not, they weren't going to give him a Hebrew name anyway. Right? Because what I'm saying have, to you yeah, is this as well. Because we can also come from, that's why I asked you, what does the name Eason mean? Because if you, you can see this is a lot of guesswork. No. It's a lot of guesswork no, going on. It's not. It is. It's not. It really is. Because if you're okay, saying. Speculation based on what? Speculation, first off, we're saying Esau must have had a Hebrew name. That's the speculation okay, number did one. Did he have an Arabic name? That's a, no, no. The Arabic name is the Arabicized form of All what right, he was so, called. Okay. Now, so, let me. So I mean, that question. So, so what, what kind of name would Jesus have had? An Aramaic name. But I've given you the Aramaic name. Right, so why are we talking about Hebrew then? Because right. you're telling me that the Aramaic... Okay, let, you're, telling me that the, okay. what, you're telling me why is Allah going off the Aramaic version because, rather than the Hebrew? Right. But you haven't even okay. ascertained whether there actually is a Hebrew version okay, in the first that's place. that's fine. Let, let's discard the Hebrew now without explaining it. Let's just say his Aramaic name was Yeshua as well. Let's right? just say... Forget the Aramaic. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. We can establish for fact that his name was Yeshua in, Ara in Aramaic, right? Because we have it in the Bible. No, you just said issue in the Aramaic and the issue no, the pronunciation. Else. Doesn't matter about the pronunciation, brother. They, but they, the, the two names are different. They're not. They are. Let, let me explain to you. Brother, it doesn't matter how wait, you write wait, a wait, word. Wait. If your pronunciation of those words are wait, different, okay. they're two different words. They're not. No, let me explain to you. Because the name has a meaning. So you're telling me one people. Wait, you're what? telling me you're telling me a group of people yeah. split up into two factions, right? Yes. Imagine I, I, I wrote the word red, and one portion of the com of, of the people said red and the other ones pronounced den or, 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 or ham or something else that doesn't doesn't suit the letter representation how, how does that what, what where, saying, where did that where did that come from the letter and then that's what i'm saying and then we're further you're talking about violence no we're further but talking this, this about what i'm saying we're, talk, we're further talking about vocalization which happened in the seventh okay, century wait. from what you've read let me explain this to you you, you said, said no vocalization you said for simple minds right i'm going to break it down for you because that was your words and yeah, i can yeah, see you're getting enough. ahead of yourself fair enough so i'm saying to you <laughs> the name, let's just go with the name was in Aram, Aramaic. Right. So now we, they both spell it the same. Right. One pronounces the Y, the other doesn't pronounce the Y. Right. One pronounces a hard Y, the one, other, the other accentuates the E sound of the Y. So are they different names? They are different names. You are, you are, you are, in su you are superimposing. No, this is how they pronounce I agree with you. I know. I've got an Oxford and Cambridge. Alright, bro. No, 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 listen. He was a 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 he was he was a 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 Brother, Look, it's fine brother. if you're trying to educate me, but when you're when when, the, when, <laughs> when when you're what you're saying, yes. I'm not saying I'm not confused because I don't understand. I'm saying I'm confused because it doesn't make sense. 
Okay. Does it make sense that two people, that someone who's got okay. two eyes, okay. Can he... that will both read one word, okay. yeah? But one of them has to be wrong. All right, but what I'm trying to say, God say is he right. might have a better explanation that you that's understand fine. than me. That's what I'm just saying. No, I'm, but I'm saying, look. Because I may not, so that's all I'm saying. Be careful, brother, you're going to hurt his I feet. can say something in a way you may not understand. So if he's saying he's got the dictionary and he's going to reference the dictionary. What's the dictionary got to do with what? Yeah, but just let him make his point. What was the point? codification of words, then. What's that? Yes. It's a standardised codification of words that's been what does, accepted what does that, what does by mean? a generality of people. What, what does that mean? Break it down to layman terms. What does that mean? Well, it means we all accept that we understand these words in the same way and we read them in the same way, right? And, and in every dictionary, you've got brackets with We're talking about different readings, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And phonemes are, you are going to tell you how to read the word. We're talking about two different pronunciations of the same word. Yeah. Yeah. What's that got that. to do with codification of words? Because you brought that into it. Yeah, because me. what he's saying is your question. What he's right. saying is when you go into uh, the dictionary, that, that you have a meaning of a name. So that's why. You can't find well, script. Yeah, what, what? No, please, bro. Paper boy, let's stick to the topic. Right. We're talking about a pronunciation. No, no. Forget the meaning. We're talking yes. about a pronunciation yes. of a word that's written in one way, yes. but pronounced in two ways. Yes. How does that happen? How does it happen? Yeah. How do I read? Because for. The, the difference is why, Different, right? Yeah, Some, like for example, if I give you a word, if I have a word and I go to an Indian in Arabic, person and I tell them to read the letter R, they're going to pronounce it's it as a W, name, right? Because of their dialect. Okay. I will pronounce it as an R. It doesn't mean when they're pronouncing that name, it's a different name. It's because the way that their dialect is, their pronunciation comes out differently. So this is what I'm saying to you. When they pronounce it Isho, it's due to a difference in the dialect. Isho, Isa, Right. Hey, Jesus, those fit. Okay. Yahushua doesn't fit in there. All right. It doesn't fit in there. And you're talking, we're not talking about an English person going to an right. Indian person. We're talking about Syriacs. Okay. We're talking about people right. who speak the same now, language, read the same okay. language. Now, now let me, coming up. Let me go back Brother, to Yahushua. Right? I think you've got some guy there already. Let, let, right? let me go to you the know, Yahushua. You know, you know about Akkad. Yeah, but, yeah, but let me just break down the Yahushua. So, in Genesis, in Genesis, I don't know where he got His name was Yahushua. Yeshua. When we get to Numbers, that's like way down the line when Aramaic started. The sorry, not at Numbers. Um, well, well, we're talking about, we're talking about the Peshitta though. Yeah, but, but let's stick to the Peshitta. All right. right. But I'm just saying how, because you mentioned the Yahushua. So that's in the, yeah. in, the, in the Hebrew. So I'm saying in the Hebrew tradition, you see it becomes shortened to Yeshua, which cor correlates to the Aramaic. So I want to know the Ara what is the Aramaic version of the word then? And this is what I showed you. So look, we'll go back to the diagram. I got to go bring up All right. Because I was going to bring up so many other points, but look, okay. We're here so every look, Sunday, so it's not a thing. So in the Ar so look, let me just show you. So here, continent spelling Yod Shin Wab A. That's the Hebrew. Early AD Aramaic is the same. Like they always quote Jesus. Yod Shin Wab A. Can you see? So they just put it there for clarification. So these okay. are all matching Every up. So that's what that. they use in the Hadith. Say that. No, that's not what they use. Or, yeah, well, they that's not, not even that's what the Christians the use now. Well, they use Yashu, Yusha, sorry, the one I showed you. I showed you the Hadith. No, no, in, in, Christian, in the Bible, if you pick up the Arabic New Testament, that's what the word you see, Yusha. Okay, look, this, this is your, this is your, this is your um, our time. It's about Yusha. Yeah, Yusha. Yeah, we're not talking about Shunu. Yeah, but I'm, that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying to you, those names, so when you get to the Arabic part the Christians use, it translates pretty much into what we see here, right? You're saying Yusuf can translate into Yusha? Yes, because it's... Yusha and Yusuf are... Yeah, well, okay, it's, a, it's an approximation. Because Yusha and Yashu, because the Christians use Yashu, right? doesn't proceed this now. Because you were also saying that Allah had to appeal to the, the Christians. No, no, I have not said that. Uh, I'm not no, saying before, that. you said the common name, because yeah, you said the Christians never challenged him, right? I'm saying that, yeah, right, they never said, That's what I'm saying. Right. So when we look at the name that the Christians have historically always used, it would go more in line with this, right? I can't say that. Okay, now let me just... What Christians? What because sect? I'm what saying, denominations? Which of them? Okay, let me just... I can't say uh, that. Okay. To be honest, uh, when we look at the spelling of the name, right? Can you prove the difference it's always consistent. And paganism. Christian, whatever. And they can't. When we get to Isa, okay. when we get what, to Isa, because my prayer is going to come out. What is that? What let's say? What is okay. the? What is the yeah, end yeah. goal of what we're trying? Because my point is this. Yeah. We know historically every name has a meaning. 
yeah, Mohammed means the praised one. Um, Fair enough. Moshe, and, yeah. Moshe and Musa. Musa has a meaning. It means out of the water. All right. So pretty much all names have a meaning. Now when we get to Isa, Allah has given this name directly to Mary. Right. Okay. So we have to ask: Would Allah have given her a nonsensical name that had no meaning, or do we use our intellect and say He probably would have given her a name which had a meaning? That's your premise. Now, yeah. now in the Bible, we get the confirmation that He has given her a name that has a meaning. Now, the Quran is supposed to be the truth, right? Is Allah true. is infallible. Yeah, yeah, they, then we they get to Allah, who seems to have borrowed the name from something else, spelt it differently. But then, for some reason, he's Arabized the name in a way we cannot but even, for, for our own edification or historical reasons, because I can bring you quotes from scholars who say this, this name is problematic. And even Ahmed Dida, the biggest um, Islamic polemicist around, said Jesus', said, said Jesus name must have been Esau. So, what I'm trying to say is this for most people who understand linguistics, will understand that Jesus would have had a name in Aramaic. If you, let's just go to Aramaic. Course, and the name in Aramaic had a meaning. But it seems funny that in the Bible, which is, shows evidence of being a primary source, has an understanding of how to translate this name into Greek without going via something else. But when we get to Allah, the all-knowing gods, he's translated it, but no one has a clue of where it came from, why it came in that manner, or what it means. Now, we, when we read the Bible again, as Jews, the Bible teaches us, and you can ask any Jew, every name has a historic meaning. Everything has a meaning because... Okay, well, we let Jews talk on their own authority. Yeah, that's, that's fine, but, I'm, but I'm just saying, because I read the Bible, so... The Bible, but you're not a Jew, though. Yeah, but it doesn't so you, matter. So you don't read the Bible, the Bible and sign another Jew. Yeah, but the Bible... Yeah, but I'm saying to you, when God give, is giving his message and the prophets are writing, there's always explanations because we see that there's an importance in names. But then somehow we get to the Quran and this name is not important. So when, uh, when Jesus Isa comes back, you're going to call him Isa, but some people, you, you know, but today, Isa is not, if, if he had a Hebrew name, then you're going to be calling him, let's say, something that no one even knows what the original uh, means. And it seems very strange that for such a significant person who's going to come back, be a ruler, you know, he's been prophesied for thousands of years. But yet, we don't even know what his Hebrew name was or what it translates to. If he comes back and his name is wrong, he'll tell us that. Okay. So let's but, just. But, yeah. but my but ultimate the whole, point the whole, is this. The whole point of the Quran, yeah, and yes. I think you've misunderstood, okay. maybe it's not the same as, as, as the Bible or what you see in Old and New Testament. Right. The point of the Quran was to take people away yeah. right, from some barbaric practices, some incorrect spiritual practices, and for them to direct their worship to the one creator. Okay. Right? That one creator spoke to those people in the terms they understood okay. right it was first coming first it came to a group of arabs who were shepherds and goat herders they're not trying to get into the meaning of of, of the name of isa and ibrahim and musa they just want to know what's my salvation now i'm not saying isa doesn't have them as have a meaning i'm not said that all i'm saying is that meaning is not is not pertinent to what I'm doing now. Yeah. I don't need okay. to know the name of Jesus right. to save myself okay. from the fire or to save myself from the punishment of Allah. That's, that's not what I need, my, this is my right? What I need to do is All follow right. the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu right. Alaihi Wasallam, that's right. right? Now my point is this. And die upon All right, now my point is this. If you have a God that is the same God as the Old Testament, who spent thousands of years teaching the people importance of names, and his character changes to then disregard importance of learning and understanding they're not the same God. I, I might be on the same yeah. I might be on the same page as you yeah, yeah. if I believe yeah that what you have with you yeah. is correct that's but fine. I don't but that's why so I'm there's no way you can like, I, there's no way I can be on the same page as you to return to what God taught these people because I don't believe that some of the stuff that's, that's in there is, so, is God said so in the first so now we have a prophet who came for 23 years versus about 1500 years of people living That's with prophets. That's a whole prophets. other conversation, no, no, no. but I, I, I literally, the sun is nearly going down. I, I, so I literally need to go, go and pray. Go As you're Ghanaian, you understand even in Ghan, hence, in, in hence Ghan, Ghan does every Ghanaian Ghan name have a meaning? In, in Ghanaian, right? In Ghanaian culture, right. we understand like the importance of like, tribes, culture, for example. 
So I can't go to a Jamaican and ask him about Ghanaian culture. I have to go to the tribe. That's not true. And many Ghanaians are Ghanaian. Yeah, but what I'm saying, I can't just go to Jamaican. You can go to Coromandel. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say, I would go to the king of Ashanti, for example, ask him about the traditions and whatnot. And you think that would necessarily, you think that the king of Asante Hine would know, yeah, every single significance between the names? I'm saying the people, not the king doesn't specifically. So I'm saying to you, you have a culture of Israelites who have spent thousands of years with prophets yeah, and with God. But we don't know where they are though. Where are these Israelites? All right, again, so we have a culture that has developed from Israelites right. versus a man that lived in, in Arabia years. Amongst, amongst Israelites, All right. supposedly. Yeah. The, it, no, the, the Arabs were converts. Still Israel, right? Hold on, first off, you don't know that the Arabs that were in Medina were converts. You have no knowledge of that. We know the earliest inscriptions from Arabia show the earliest kingdom, they all converted to Christianity and Judaism. And if you don't believe me, go and search the history. I'm not talking, about, not talking of, about Arabs, I'm talking about yeah. people who migrated okay. from Yemen, which was historically Jewish. Okay. So you're, from Ethiopia, so you're making that an migrated. For ignorance. No, it's not ignorance. Where, where, this is, where, I'm telling yeah. you, the tribes of Medina, Osan yeah. Khazmash, the people of Ma'arib, they okay. made a hijrah when the dam burst. In Yemen, and they were Jews, and they migrated into the Hijaz area. But what I'm saying so, to you, so, 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 okay, what at what period? Is, okay, what what, 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 what period in time did the, did the original Jews, according to your opinion, what, emigrate to? Uh, to no, the original. I didn't make the statement of original okay. Jews. Okay, what, so the Jews? What, okay, what time? The, 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 period Jews, in fact. Jews, I never said Jews. Jews, Israelites. The Israelites are scattered in all the corners okay. of the earth. So tell right? me, at what point were they there? They were there at the time of the prophet before him, and they might. Before they before they migrated there. At what time? Before the sixth century. I don't have a. When? I don't have a. I don't have a, uh, a date for you. Okay. But I can say that before the so you before, the, before the before the Prophet Muhammad, <laughs> okay. they migrated there. All right. Because I'm, we're going to go on a tangent. And if we look but, at but what I'm, tangent, if you look at the if, no, no, because what I'm going to say is a tangent. Because when we look at Mecca historically, yeah. there is no historical or archaeological evidence that says there was anyone who lived there before the fourth century. Okay. Now I can go onto Wikipedia. And I'll show you the ten oldest cities in Saudi Arabia. It's Mecca not will like not come up in this. Now it, it would seem it would seem very strange that across the globe, if we go to for, for example, bro, I got a pray. Right. Let me just 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 let uh, well, that was a very long-winded conversation. It didn't go necessarily the way I expected it because it's kind of uh, explaining very basic elementary things to people that don't understand. I mean, we kind of went into the interlinear to see what the meaning of the names were, but they weren't trying to accept it. So it then held up the argument of trying to um, lay out the premise that Allah has inconveniently or bafflingly made this name Isa because obviously we even saw that they challenged what was a primary source until I read it out and they shut up. So then it makes it a very difficult conversation to have a, it's very hard to have an intellectual conversation to lay out very basic elementary points with evidence when they don't understand the information you're giving them, you know. So therefore it's very difficult kind of arguing with people who have no clue what you're talking about and you're trying to explain it to them but then they're kind of questioning the evidence as well because we know from academics, even if we bring like sources it should be good enough just to at least establish a base criteria but then they weren't even accepting that so then we had to kind of go round and round and round and round so um, basically you know we're trying to find out where this name Isa comes from because we're kind of looking at the divine attributes of Allah because it seems very strange that this person himself is called Isa but he doesn't even know what his name means I mean obviously his name could mean like you know a donkey but then why would you call yourself something and you don't even know what the meaning is? It's like even parents, for example, when they name their children, they look at what the name is. Oh, I like this name and they might research what the name means. But you're, you're taking Islamic names and then you're not even knowing what you're, you're taking on. So it kind of shows that the difference between the Bible and the Old Testament, where God was obviously teaching people what name meaning mean what names mean because it was tied into their culture but then somehow Allah's personality has changed to the Arabs and the message is different and these things are irrelevant and people are now even taking names that they don't even understand but we cannot then say the same what's the name of Islam it means submission Huh? Submission. No. You're going to say it means salam from peace, but it's not the truth. It means submission. But, but yeah, let me just 
finish off. Oh, but finish. Okay. as I conclude, we're trying to discuss where the name Issa comes from because I was even going to touch upon the Injil or the name Zachariah, but because I was explaining so many things and their argument was to kind of question the sources, but we know from even just general standard academia and languages and cultures, these things are reliable. So, I mean, we have it here that someone was called Isa. He doesn't even know the meaning of his name, but then he's arguing that there is no Arabic, no Hebrew equivalent. But, you know, we're still uh, waiting for this explanation of what does the name Isa mean. So hopefully someone will be able to explain to me what the name Isa means and what it is in Hebrew. Yes.